Ja lige så vi måske med Stop! Hello, you beautiful people. Today, we're going to talk about marshmallowology. Marshmallows, yeah, marshmallowology. Uh, the science and the story behind marshmallows. One of the most ordinary sweets on the planet, but also one of the most amazing because they've got extraordinary science and an extraordinary story behind them. Mm. The word marshmallow sort of conjures up sort of pink fluffy clouds and sort of sweetness and nothingness, really. Um, but the marshmallow was actually a plant. It was a mallow, a plant called a, a type called a mallow, that grew in marshes. And here is one of the marshmallow plants. It's a really pretty plant. It grows up to about a metre or a metre and a half high. This has been used um, as a foodstuff ever since ancient Egyptian times and possibly before that because the roots do something quite extraordinary. And it was used as medicine to cure a sore throat. If you take one of your big plants and you dig it up and then dry out the roots, chop them up into little bits, you get this stuff here. It just kind of looks like, uh, well, it's sawdust really. It's got a smell of horseradish, that kind of weird, zappy, zippy smell that goes up your, up your, your nasal passages and sort of expands them a little bit. You soak this stuff for, um, well, for about eight hours, in this case, eight hours, and you get this icky goo. Now, it just looks like sludge, really, and in many ways, it sort of is. Because when you dig it up underneath, right at the bottom of it, it's all really gluey and jellified and glacky and gappy and there. So have a little taste. Oh! <laughs> It makes you want to vomit. It's just really gloopy. When they started making this into a sweet, which was a kind of a Parisian thing, really, um, they started mixing these things together and using that mucilaginous, kind of that gloopiness, the gelatinous quality to make something really sort of firm and yet very soft. So in, in addition to the gloop from this, gum arabic, uh, which also helps make things into a real kind of gel. Um, egg whites, again, very good at holding bubbles and making things nice and firm and stiff. And shed loads of sugar. And you make this stuff here. And it looks a little bit like a meringue. It's soft and gloopy. It's got the mallow in it, so it should have those medicinal qualities. But it's very, very sweet. So the French began to add loads of gelatin to um, their marshmallows and, and they began to, to create what we see today. So uh, in today's uh, marshmallows, and this is just one pack and there are lots of different versions, but um, this one has glucosyrupin, which is a type of, of sugar that keeps things very soft and moist. Um, dextrose, which is a, a corn syrup sugar. Um, a humectant, now this is something that keeps things moist and what they've got in this one is called sorbitol and it just makes sure that, that they don't dry out. What's interesting is the vast amount of sugar that they put into it. This is gelatin, looks quite beautiful, very pure, um, and this, is, this makes things into a real gel. But it comes from something that you might not expect. Hooves. Hooves and joints and cartilaginous tissue. And it's all the connective tissue and you boil these bones up for ages and ages and then you get left behind this beautiful gelatin. And the same thing happens if you want to thicken a stew. You'll get a trotter and add it to your stew and it makes it really nice and gelatinous. And what we can do, because there's so much sugar in marshmallows and they're pink and fluffy and they've got a big scale to them, we can do this around the campfire. And this is what happens when you toast your marshmallows. You caramelise the sugar. So caramelisation is an extraordinary set of chemical reactions, a whole series of them. Um, that are sort of browning reactions, very different from the Maillard reaction, but they develop flavours that simply weren't there in the first place. As every kid knows, there's a point at which it's nicely browned and a point at which it's all dark and black and horrible. And when you get it right, you create something extraordinary with these amazing toffee flavours. If you go too far, you develop all these bitter flavours when it goes black and a little bit carcinogenic. But why is it pink? Now this one is made, if you look on the packet, it says Kami. Now, carmine has three different names. You can either call it carmine, E120, or cochineal. So cochineal, here are some cochineal bugs. They grow on cacti. These ones have come from Peru. Grind them up into a powder, drop them into some water. You get the most extraordinary thing. That is the reconstituted blood of the cochineal bug. And that is why these marshmallows are pink. Bug blood. But the big question is, how does it compare to the original? 
I'm the official gastrolab taster. Yeah, she's got a spoon and everything. Yeah. Okay, so what I've got for you today, Daisy, is uh, marshmallows. Um, and Daisy does have a brilliant sense of taste. He, he, half of it. All right, the whole thing. Go on in. You fill your boots. Squidgy. Squidgy. Good word. I like that. Squidgy. Anything else? And with the taste? Mm. It's very sugary. Very sugary. I mean, it's really sweet, isn't it? This is a recipe which is over 160 years old. 170 years old, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, the marshmallow itself is modern because we made it today. Hugh, uh, who's filming, made it earlier on. Um, and I wanted you to taste it because this is what marshmallows originally tasted like. So you dig in, that's your bit. Whole bit there. The whole bit. The whole bit. You can't be a proper taster. It doesn't look very inviting, does it? Though? Why not? It looks nice and squidgy, doesn't it? It's, it's delicious. That looks nice, but that does. <laughs> you do say you use cookie. Is that what you're no, Maybe. You're doing very well. All right, okay, the whole lot in and tell me what you think. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's still very sugary. It's, re it's even more sugary than the modern marshmallows. I mean, massive, massive sugar. And the texture? Really soft. It's really soft. It's kind of... But it's got like an outer layer of hard, like... Icing sugar? There's like an aftertaste, that's really horrible. Well, the aftertaste, that's really interesting. That is the mallow. Nutty or... Um, I don't really like the aftertaste. Slightly vanilla -y and th th I mean, there's something to it. A show of thumbs. No, I think they're actually... <laughs> <laughs> a bit rubbish, but very interesting. And that is the original 170-year-old recipe compared to the modern one. So that is the story of marshmallows. I think it's absolutely fascinating because there's... She's so cheeky. There's so many stories behind the most simple foods on the planet. All right, you ready? See so if you can catch it in your mouth. Three. Mm. No, go, you can do it. That's right. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> At least it was only marshmallows. Stop! <laughs> Come back and see some more of my videos. Oh, right in the face. Come back and see some more of my videos anytime soon. <laughs>